Kyle here with Carp Unlimited. If you're watching this video, you may be interested in purchasing or have already purchased one of our MP3 carp beepers. The goal of this video is to show you what you're going to need to install your MP3s to the beeper. So let's get started. Okay, so here is the Carp Unlimited MP3 beeper. And before we show you how you're going to upload your MP3s, here's just a little bit of how this beeper works. Um, this is how most of the beepers generally work. You have your switch. It is in a neutral position. Nothing's going to happen. No, no light, no sound. If you put this in the down position, you're going to get no sound, but just light. And if you put this in the up position, you're going to get both light and sound. And when you get these MP3 player ones, they typically come with this pre-installed. So that's what it's going to sound like with nothing uploaded to it. So now when you get ready to upload your MP3, you're going to need a USB A Mini B503 wire. We do sell those on the site. You'll find them on the accessory page. Here's what it looks like out of the package. This is the end that's going to go into the beeper. Here's your USB port in that's going to go into your computer. So you're going to take this end. Here is where this port is located. You'll stick it in like that. Put your USB in into your computer. And then from there you will upload whatever kind of MP3 that you want on here. These do have four megabytes of storage. So that's how much information will go into it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's generally how you're going to do that. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go to show you how you can go and download the MP3s that you want to put on here and then upload them onto the device. Here we are getting ready to install our song or sound that we want to put on our MP3 beeper. So the first thing you're going to do is have your cord connect to your beeper and then put in your USB into the computer. And when that happens, it pops up and shows what port that it is in. And you see here a file is already present. This is the very loud tone that is pre-installed on these. What I would do is either delete this or remove it. So I'm just going to take it out of there and delete it. Yes. Okay. And here I have a website already where I found you could get a free ringtone. I'm going to do Another One Bites the Dust by Queen. I've actually heard a few guys have this on their MP3 players at the lakes. And when you go to these sites, you'll, you'll see a lot of clickbait. You'll see where it says download, download. Do not click these. What you're going to do is Choose this one that you want to download. Click the download button. Wait for this to happen. Don't click anything here. Okay, so now you can see that it's in your downloads. You can click it here or go to your downloads folder. It should be there. What I'm going to do is do that. Go to my download folder, which is located right here. Open it up. Right here it is. Another one by Queen. And I'm going to drag and drop this over. And here the file is. It is now installed. And when you put it in the tone position in the up position, you should hear another one bites the dust. Hope this helps. Thanks. Okay, y'all. Here is our MP3 beeper. After we have now installed or uploaded a new MP3 file on it. 
and we'll flip it in the up position so the alarm will trigger. And here's what it sounds like. See the light pulsating. And that's all it is to it. Hey, thanks for watching the video. We hope the information that we provide you was useful. Also, we want to hear from you. If you'd like to see us do any future videos for other products, please comment below. Also, if you found the video useful, please like and subscribe to the channel. And remember what we always like to say. Good things come to those who bake.